So another useful diagram is this conceptual bucket of plant available water. And so we, we can conceive of the soil, that root zone, being able to hold water between the upper limit of field capacity, represented by FC at the top, and then permanent wilting point, PWP, which is the bottom limit of, of that, uh, that available water capacity. So the difference between field capacity and permanent wilting point, that's what we call as the available water capacity, or AWC. So this is what the, the plants can extract out of that root zone. But in terms of irrigation management, we do not allow the plants to extract all of this down all the way down to wilting point because the, the plants will be stressed by then. Uh, they would have experienced water stress. So we set a management allowed depletion, which is represented by that red horizontal line, MAD. Typically for grain crops, for example, that, that's approximately halfway between field capacity and wilting point. Then what we do is we try to track this deficit, this uh, D value, which is represented by the, this red portion of the bucket. And the deficit is the difference between the, the actual soil water content and the field capacity. So the deficit is what we use for irrigation management. It, it indicates the net amount of irrigation water that has to be applied. So if you track the deficit, then you already know the net irrigation requirement to get back to field capacity. Now, the deficit is just compared to this management allowed depletion, which can be converted to equivalent depth of water. And if the deficit is zero, then the soil water content is at field capacity and you don't need to irrigate. While if the deficit goes uh, below or past the MAD, then the assumption is that the water, uh, the, the, the plants become stressed. 